Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I've got an updated 2015 tutorial for the My Cost series eBay fee and profit tracking spreadsheet. Uh, you can see here visually it looks a little bit different than last year. It's got a analytical chart style uh, summary report and you can notice there it has inventory level which is new this year and of course that chart is dynamic range. You can set the range uh, as always you can hide columns you don't want to see at all times which I'm going to do here so we can uh, be able to see more of the spreadsheet on this little little video capture I got going here so I just populated all this fake data here just for uh, example I'm going to create a new item based on the inventory feature you can see there's a drop down list and that's referring back to your inventory tab okay so click my inventory tab here's a list of all the items that are in your inventory these are items that you're going to want to relist over and over so we'll just create a new item here we'll call it test item just pick a random category here of course the subcategory updates dynamically based on the main category selected uh, we'll just put in a 749 cost for the item and a random selling price just for this example Okay, target inventory is the amount of inventory you want to try to maintain. So this is going to help you with reordering quantities um, when it falls low. The received inventory is how much you had on stock received in, and then sold inventory and remaining inventory will be calculated by the spreadsheet. So we'll try an example now. Um, we just created test item, so I'll pick that item. Um, you can see, even though category is hidden, that it selected the correct category and subcategory so I'll rehide those now and we'll mark this item as S for sold and you can see it fills in today's date and updates all the reports along the top let's sell this other item too with today's date okay so you can see the sold inventory quantities updated on their own I'm going to play around with the target inventories here to show you on the front summary report um, how the visual indicator works for these inventory levels. As I raise the target inventory, it's visually showing that I have less inventory out of my maximum capacity. And as it gets lower and lower, it'll go from green to yellow to red and decrease the number of boxes shown there in that stack. Anyway, another new feature I added was this break-even point. Uh, so this is always there. You can just look at it and you'll know what you would need to sell your item for based on your costs and fees in order just to break even. And you can see the break-even point changes automatically by formula as you change the costs. Okay, let me show you how to update the dynamic date range of the analytical summary report. So on the My Settings tab, you can just pick any time frame that you choose and look up there on the top you can see that the charts all update to reflect the new date range that's selected so you can pick any of the ones that I have preset or you can do a custom range and then just put in any two dates starting and ending and everything will automatically adjust on that report so that's fun. Also at the left of the report it tells you the name of the uh, time frame you're using. For your convenience. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions you can contact me through eBay. That's uh, user ID DRSOY, Dr. Soy. Or you can contact me through YouTube on the community channel or commenting under this video. And uh, for those of you who purchase my spreadsheets on eBay, you can always contact me directly by my email if you have any questions about the spreadsheets or Excel in general. Hey, before I go, let me tell you a little bit about what I do on eBay. You can find me there under user ID Dr. Soy, D R S O Y. Um, I've got my feedback pulled up here for you to peruse as I give you my spiel here got a variety of advanced spreadsheets for sale. 
Uh, they all have advanced functions and VBA code that you can poke around in and yeah, that one guy gave me useless. Useless as the comment. Negative feedback. Uh, everything else is pretty generally positive. So, as I was saying, um, poke around in those formulas and let me know if you have any questions about them because I answer emails every day from my eBay customers. I try to respond on the same day and if not, it's usually the next day some weekends I don't answer, but usually I answer on weekends as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, or shoot me an email on eBay, and I'll get right back to you.